Hello everyone, this is my reaction to yesterday's ISC. It was about cargo. So a persistent hanger is an instance hanger that is going to be assigned to you whenever you select your home location when logging into the game for the first time for a patch. When that happens, what we do is we determine the largest ship that you have and then entitle to you a persistent hanger that's of the size needed to facilitate that ship. Whenever you go into that hangar into the game, that hangar at your home location is always your hangar, and you'll be able to use it like your home. You'll be able to keep things in the hangar, you'll be able to leave things around, you can invite friends in. What we're going to do is allow you to call anything in your inventory up via that freight elevator. I find this incredibly funny that CHE is showing a trolley used to transport cargo crates. Trolleys were introduced more than three years ago, and to this day they never worked. They are killing you when you are just pushing them. Pushing them is very awkward, and most ramps of ships are way too steep for a trolley. In your personal hangar, you also have access to several other kiosks, starting with the item bank. For your information, unique item recovery, subscriber gear and items you bought with real money is postponed and won't be in 3.23. We will only get item banks. And uh, these item banks can be found not just within the hangars, but also the wider location, such as your hubs and other key areas of a location to retrieve um, your personal items. Since you can't interact with, the, with your inventory anymore at any given time, it means like we need to have enough item banks around each location so you don't block each other um, from accessing an, an, a terminal, right? Even with just 100 players on a server, it already happens that you have to wait and that consoles are blocked. I wonder how well this will work, especially since we might get server meshing with a much higher player cap. What we're doing is we're changing the way that the ships spawn in the game. You can now request your ships from within the hangar and they will appear to you. But they won't just come out of thin air. What happens is the whole of the floor will open up. You get this like amazing view of the, of the hangar, the lights dim, the doors open. And the landing platform will be rising up towards you and your ship will be there. Many of us suggest this for a long time, just let ships coming out from the ground have a hatch on top, perfectly fine. Even the old 1970 UFO series did this. However, we have no railings, we just have some holograms. Come on, have a railing at the outside to protect people falling down. People don't like falling down, Chris. Additionally, you can do clever things like call up a smaller vehicle, such as a ground vehicle, drive it off, and then call up a larger vehicle. Then you'll have access to your ground vehicles. If I'm not mistaken, spawning vehicles at freight elevators is postponed, and won't be in 3.23. Yes, exactly this. No railing, just a holochrome. I guess getting a railing is asked too much. Feel more real. It means that the whole experience is gonna allow for manual loading. It'll also feel more rewarding because it'll give you more interesting choices to make throughout the process. It'll make multi-crewing a more interesting and useful experience. I find it really amazing how CHE again and again makes it look like Amazon Warehouse Employee Simulator is a nice and interesting experience and something everyone is looking forward to. No, most of us don't. Sure, I don't mind loading a few crates into my ship, but I do mind loading a freelancer Max or a Hercules C2 myself. And how about giving us real tools, real machines to load, unload our ships. A magical handheld tractor beam where we can move containers exceeding masses of 100 tons without any effort. It's really, really cheap and really, really gamey. This is not a magic game, I hope. Here is what Tony Surak said seven years ago about loading unloading of bigger ships. We have a pretty comprehensive design right now. No, Tony, you didn't in 2017. You still don't. Steve Apollyon asks, are there any plans on cargo loading of the bigger ships such as the whole series of ships and is the loading at a space station or even planetary uh, going to be automatic or will we have a specialized small cargo loading ships similar to Argo 
uh, to load manually if we choose to, similar to the Argo. Yeah, we, so we, ha we have talked about the fact that we don't want the larger ships to basically just, you know, park it, click the button, and it's done. That these larger ships that have vast quantities of materials would actually take a significant period of time to unload and may result in missions for NPCs and or uh, other players to actually undertake. Um, we've actually got a pretty comprehensive design right now, but we're still iterating through that. Another thing that we've talked about is automated loading in the games. This allows you to still do commodity trading without needing to actually move the boxes yourself. It will be an option in the commodity terminal. This automated loading will be outside our view. Containers will just get teleported in and off the ship, which is perfectly fine because it's outside our view. This is exactly what I and many others suggested. However, there are questions. How much extra do those loading services cost? How much time will it take to load a small, medium, big ship? The Shield didn't mention anything. Are we talking about half an hour for Hercules C2? Are we talking about two hours for High C? What about ships like Carrick and Reclaimer, where manually loading unloading isn't really an option? Carrick still doesn't have her detachable cargo pods, and trying to get your 80, 16 SU containers out of a Reclaimer would be a major pain. What about Hull C? You cannot spawn a Hull C in extended mode in a hangar. How is automatically loading a Hull C going to work? And are we ever getting something more sophisticated, like NPCs helping us loading, like machines, and not a magical handheld tractor beam? I guess we won't see anything better, at least not in the next 5 or 6 years. Teleporting cargo on and off ships outside our view will do. Just don't tell me you have something done 7 years ago, while you still have nothing, Tony Surak. I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below and see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay, there it goes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this, this was a very good hit. Wasn't necessary. Damage rate is 250 meters, but this was a very good hit flicker. Very nicely done. Hey, you are still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Kamoral underscore SC.